So I renewed my Disney Plus subscription primarily to make fun of the Star Wars sequel trilogy and commentary tracks, but I figured while I'm here, why not watch She-Hulk? I mean, come on, all the minimist YouTubers have been cracking on it, right? So it's gotta be pretty bad. Well, I actually kind of like it. But real quick, before you can skip it, check out my buddies Andar.com, makers of fine leather goods. Use my promo code FRY20, save 20% at checkout. Now, the interesting thing about She-Hulk is that it is going for the woman comedy vibe. If you weren't really aware, hell, for no apparent realistic reason, Ally McBeal is playing on the TV at the bar. So that you understand, hey, this is like Ally McBeal. We subconsciously hang this over the head, and then you go, oh, oh yeah, that's okay. Now I get it. The show follows She-Hulk, uh, Jennifer Walters, is, yes, that's it. Played by Tatiana Maslany. Uh, am I saying that wrong? She's an attorney, and uh, she's quickly fired because, well, she impacted the jury's decision by saving them from a supervillain gone uh, crazy at the courthouse. Now, a lot of the first episode, she's giving you the backstory on how she acquired these powers, uh, got a little bit of her cousin's blood in her, but there is a little bit of an explanation. They share a gene that allows them to absorb the gamma radiation and convert it into Hulk skills. And this is where things get interesting, kids, because I know that, like me, you probably probably weren't watching this. You heard it was a feminist, man-hating show that needed your animosity. That this was a show that you needed to just take our word for it. Yeah, it's, it's against men. See, I'll play a clip for you to prove it. Of course, he's basically just the butt of the jokes now. As you might imagine, this new female Hulk shows him up continuously and is able to do everything he can do but better. And right from the start, the Mary Sue effect. Yeah, cousin Bruce Banner over here, the Incredible Hulk, he throws the rock, he's showing her how to use the strength, and right away she throws it further than him. Oh, right, right away, just first time, she's already stronger than the Hulk. Oh, but what your taste-making overlords were quick to edit out is Bruce retaliating by launching a rock into orbit. That selective editing has me questioning the motives of, oh, Dave Cullen, critical drinker, and any of those parroting asshats who just climb on his back. What good is this open bar concept when it's a bunch of people who share the same opinion? I mean, of course you can't get somebody to volunteer to be on your YouTube show if they don't get along with you, but in the adult world, they hire people with conflicting opinions to debate. I'm finding She-Hulk attorney at law to be mostly fun. It's Ally McBeal with a superhero veneer. Yeah, She-Hulk addresses the camera. It, they even have to go into a diagram about where to use the restroom at this law firm. Because Ally McBeal was famous for that unisex bathroom. And Christ almighty, I have not seen Mark Lynn Baker in 30 years. Yeah, this is going to be mostly aimed at the female crowd. And there are a lot of digs at men. And some of it does seem contrived. Okay, every guy at the bar wants to jump you. Oh, if you speak up and you don't manage your anger, you're literally going to get murdered? Really? Like, there's really going to be a co-worker at a law firm being openly chauvinistic. There's a hot chick over there. I'm going to go talk to it. I think you need to consider that this is not a show aimed at guys. This is supporting a lot of those female beliefs. It's got a long established female version of a hero. And by the way, I don't know why you're saying the CGI is bad. It is on par with all the other rushed jobs CGI in the Marvel films. And Tatiana Maslany looks way hotter as a green giant. Like, there's plenty to objectify here. Those milkers are the size of my torso. Congrats. Besides, I've already seen her and her best friend naked. Now, I've seen the available 6 of 10 episodes of She-Hulk, so I may have to do a video when this season concludes. But my biggest complaint so far is the 32nd Marvel Studios production logo sequence. Yeah, that needed to be seen at the beginning of every 20-minute episode. 20 minutes because, let's not kid ourselves, the credits are extensive. Sometimes these watercolor animations differ and depict events from the show, maybe even elaborate on the episode. Sometimes they don't, sometimes there's a scene in the middle of the credits, sometimes there isn't. But I'm not gonna blame She-Hulk for chemically castrating the Hulk. I mean, I feel like if he is green, he should be wrecking shit, but we have established in Avengers Endgame, oh, Bruce can control it now. He can just be the best of both worlds Hulk over here. Fellas, you gotta draw your ire where it is 
is appropriate. You fools didn't push back on Avengers Endgame in 2019. So now you're taking that rage out on undeserving targets. A superhero attorney who handles superhero affairs. Now doesn't that sound like enough world building intrigue to warrant a streaming series? It's about a girl gets interrupted by men all the time. I'm big mad. Because guys don't behave like that in the workplace. Hey, if nothing else, look at it like this. In a satirical sense, the show may be doing a good job pointing out the exaggerated misbeliefs of women. If you appreciate a YouTube channel that doesn't just pad out content to get to the 8 minute mark so that it can hammer you with ad breaks, then you should subscribe to my son's channel. You just got done watching it.